Oh, hold the elevator. I'll remember this. What's your ID number? It's 1142. Eat my ass. Hello everybody, Glenn here, and today we're going to go over the Powered Geek Box, formerly known as the Power Up Box. They changed their name to try to make it a little more clear what their product was. Honestly, I like Power Up Box better. Powered Geek Box doesn't roll off the tongue very well, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, uh, Powered Geek Box is no longer on the monthly rotation list for boxes that I'm going to do. It's now on the occasional list. But this is the last month um, of our subscription. So the next couple months we won't have it. It might come back in January. Not sure about that yet. So uh, for this month we are, as we have been, we're not only reviewing the premium box, but we're also going to, I'm also going to review the deluxe smaller box. Um, uh, the difference, the uh, premium box is a $30 box, the smaller deluxe box is a $20 box, so about a $10 difference. Um, in the past, uh, when we've gotten both boxes, it's all been a matter of value. Some of the items are the same, some of the items are different. So um, let's dig in and uh, compare the two boxes. All right, this being October, even though powered up, powered Geek Box, sorry. Even though Powered Geek Box doesn't uh, have a theme monthly, um, it being October, they did throw some Halloween type items in it. So there's a couple of those here, but in general, it's generally a uh, kind of a mixed, a mixed general box. So let's start with the shirt. So starting with the shirt, we've got a Star Wars shirt, which is always good to see. This one is. Uh, uh, Star Wars branded shirt. Um, you've got the a, kind of a classic meme of the different emotions and it's Stormtrooper and obviously the mass Stormtrooper they all look the same that's the joke. Angry, happy, sad, happy, uh, sleepy, confused, cheerful, frustrated, excited, proud all pretty much the same. So kind of a clever shirt, funny um, and actually I like this color a lot. I like this kind of subtle almost a heather gray, um, maybe a little bit darker than that, but it's definitely a different uh, color shirt rather than the normal uh, pop culture black shirt. So nice job with the shirt. I like this one a lot. Okay, we've got a mug. This one is a zombie mug, and this is one of those mugs that changes depending on if you have cold or hot liquid in it. So this is what it looks like cold, basically a guy running in the street and then when you put something hot in it, like coffee, um, the zombies show up in the cup. You can kind of see uh, see the difference between the hot and the cold in the package there. So a decent mug, kind of small, you know, uh, a, a standard coffee mug size. But lately in the boxes, we've gotten kind of bigger mugs. So this one's a little bit on the small side, but still a cool mug nonetheless. All right, no real figure in this box. Um, but there is an item that you can make your own figure. And this is a build your own zombie. And what it is, is it's basically, uh, Play-Doh. So it's two bins of Play-Doh type clay. And you can see this one's multicolored. So you can do, uh, you know, the face and different things. And this is all green, um, for the green parts of the zombie. And basically, it takes you through um, color mixing and creating your own little Play-Doh type um, zombie. So, an interesting concept. Definitely fits with the Halloween. Um, I'm not much for building or creating things like that, but uh, for, for someone, especially kids that like to work with clay and Play-Doh in particular, this would be a, a pretty good item. All right, next in the premium box, we've got a set of tattoo pens. So basically they're temporary tattoo pens and of multi-colors. There's, it's basically skin safe ink. So they pretty much actually look like normal pens, but you can write on your skin with them and uh, they're temporary, they come out. So kind of an interesting concept, something I've never seen before, 
So fits in with uh, the Halloween theme as well, even though it's not their theme, but you know the October idea. Um, so this is actually a pretty, a pretty neat item. I've never seen anything like this before. So uh, it's cool to see items that are different in these boxes, especially the general ones that tend to be the same over and over again. All right, another kind of unique item. We've got a bottle opener, which is basically a beard. You see, it's got a hole on the bottom as well. It's hard to see actually. It's got a hole on the bottom so you can uh, put it on your keychain, but it's basically a bottle opener that's a beard. Kind of different, kind of cool. And then it being Halloween time, lots of candy. So this box has some uh, mummy flavor, uh, mummy inspired uh, Mike and Ike's, some Butterfingers, snack size, and then a uh, a boobling little candy ring there. All right, that's it for the premium box. Let's check out the deluxe to see the difference. All right, as far as the deluxe box goes, which is ten dollar difference. Um, the basic, basic difference is it comes with a t-shirt, but not the same t-shirt. So let's check that one out. This is another Star Wars shirt. This one's a little more classic. Um, it's got kind of a, an interesting art style. Um, it harkens back to the original trilogy. You've got Star Trooper, Stormtroopers on the bottom. Um, this is actually a, a pretty good reputation, uh, representation of a pretty classic Star Wars poster. Kind of early concept art. You can kind of see... Uh, Darth Vader's uh, saber isn't red, you know, in early drawings, um, Ralph McQuarrie and such, um, these uh, Star Wars drawings were uh, just early sketches and early concept drawings. So this kind of plays on that. Very cool shirt. I like this one a lot. I like the art style. I like the, um, the um, harkening back to the old school Star Wars. So this is a really neat shirt. I like the Stormtrooper one too. But that's a kind of a funny shirt. This one is a little more uh, classic t-shirt, but uh, it's very, uh, very cool as well. All right, just like the premium box, uh, the smaller deluxe box also got the built Make Your Own Zombie, so you've got the other clay item there. Now here's something different in this box that's not in the bigger box, and this is actually a Mystery Minis. So this is one of the new horror classics uh, set of the uh, mystery minis. Now you can see this is actually series two there and you can see the back see the different rarities and such in this particular set. Now as this smaller box came with the mystery minis you can kind of see which way I'm trending as far as the better value. Uh, you know the bigger box has some more items and it has some interesting items in it but this one having a Funko especially a mystery mini especially a mystery mini that a lot of the boxes, I haven't seen any of the boxes yet, um, and it's really hot right now. This is a great item to see in the, in the box, especially a smaller box, which doesn't cost as much. And lastly, uh, the smaller box has a little bit more candy than the bigger box. It kind of filled it a little bit. Um, you've got more of those uh, Boo Blings, um, little candy rings there. You've got some, um, some Runts. Mike and Ike's, and this one is the vampire ones instead of the mummy. And then a jack-o'-lantern sucker. So really, three major items in the small box. Um, in the large box, I'd say you've got basically two major items, plus the tattoo pen um, and the, the beer bottle opener. This is another month where I really think the smaller box is actually a little bit better value. Uh, kind of bang for your buck kind of thing and if I were subscribing to Powered Up Box or Powered Geek Box moving forward I would probably get the smaller the smaller one because um, it had the mystery minis I think the value is better you've got the mystery minis in it um, and the t-shirt is really great as well the t-shirts are kind of a wash but the fact that it's got a mystery mini in the smaller box I think kind of puts that one over the top value wise obviously there's more there's more items in the bigger box because it costs ten dollars more. But if I were to choose one, I'd actually choose the smaller box for twenty dollars versus the bigger box for thirty. Right? So um, that's just kind of the way I would trend. And this is actually a couple months in a row that that um, I've kind of uh, tended towards the smaller box. So so this time I'm going to give each box its own letter grade. The premium Power Geek box I'm going to give a C plus. 
and the smaller uh, deluxe powered geek box I'm going to give a, uh, a B to. Um, yes, the larger box had more items in it, and in a lot of ways they were very similar, but I just felt like the value wasn't quite there for 30 bucks. Um, I felt the value in the smaller box for 20 was a lot better, especially with the Mystery Mini, so it got a little bit of a better grade. Again, if I were subscribing to this box uh, right now for the first time, I would go with the smaller one because I think um, that's been giving us better value. Well, I forgot one very important item that came in the premium powered geek box. Now, this comes with a little bit of a story. Got an email a little while ago, and I posted this up on our Facebook page, that um, talking about uh, powered geek box name change, kind of uh, trying to uh, uh, get a better identity for their boxes. And part of that was they got a shipment of the large six inch pop figures in and they wanted to include those in this month's box. The problem is that this box was not big enough to hold the six inch pop figures with everything else. So instead of just not sending them out, what Power Geek Box decided to do was take the six inch uh, pop out of its box and stuff it into the box for shipping. So that pop was this one. This is the six inch Viserion pop from Game of Thrones. Now as a pop, this is a excellent pop figure. I already have this. Um, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. You can see a bunch of them up there. Uh, and I've had this pop for a while. So it's great that they sent this pop figure out. It's actually, um, you know, it's a 15, 16, you know, dollar pop at the time that it was released. The problem is they took it out of its box. So that leads me to question whether the folks over at Powered Geekbox really know who their customers are because to include a pop outside of its box, to do an out-of-box pop figure, is not something that any, you know, any serious in-box collector who's going to get Powered Geekbox is going to really appreciate. Um, I don't care that much because I'm an out-of-box collector, but you can't see them from this angle, but I have all the boxes. So, excuse me, I keep all the boxes. Um, I just display them out of the box. So for just a lone pop figure like this, as cool as it is, to come without the box, you're really not setting yourself up as a company that really considers um, its customers that much, especially the collector's side of it. I understand that they wanted to get this these out, but go ahead and wait a month. I'm sure everybody would be perfectly happy to get this next month in a box, in its box, um, or even if you really wanted to send it to, if you really wanted to send it early to your customers and to attract more customers to your newly rebranded box, send it separately. Send it separately in the box. An out of box pop is unheard of. I've never heard of a company just, oh, we'll just, we'll just take it out of the box, throw the boxes away, and send this out to the, to, to your uh, subscribers. It adds value to this box. Without this box, um, this is a decent box, but with this pop, it actually adds value to it. Um, but a lot of collectors would say that this has zero value to them because it does, it's not in the box. So that being said, um, it's not really going to change my score that much, um, but um, it's an interesting story and an interesting experiment that they would just throw this in uh, without the box. That's it for Powered Geek Box. Again, we're not going to see this for a while. Um, if you would like to subscribe to Powered Geek Box, check them out. I put a link to uh, their site in the description, as, as well as uh, links to some of the other box sites as well. Uh, so that's going to about, about do it for us. Um, we've got a few more boxes left coming up, some really great boxes as well. So stay tuned for those. Um, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. And as always, we'd, I'd love to see your comments down below. 
Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the flip side.